So this is a very short video that shows how to animate a character walk using uh, the marvelous Monty rig and you should first of all watch the series of videos showing how to animate a basic walk cycle with Monty because what we're going to do is take the basic walk cycle that we made here this is one I made um, just um, a couple of days ago and adapt it to give it some character and personality and what we're going for is the so-called double bounce walk which was originally discovered in Hollywood back in the 1920s. So it's been around for a hundred years and you will see this walk cycle used in countless movies, especially if you look at crowd shots. Have a look at a movie like Monsters Inc. You're going to see monsters walking along the street and they're all doing the double bounce walk. It's very, very simple to do and as long as you get your basic cycle working, then um, the double bounce should be really no trouble at all. So to start, I'm going to go to my latest uh, blog post which shows how to do this. So if we go here to the uh, blog, uh, just scroll down, you can see there there's um, Thursday, 1st of June 2023, how to do a double bounce walk with Monty, which explains what it is that we're trying to do here. Um, so in the last video, we, did, we followed these thumbnails here, which show how to do a basic walk cycle. And in this, in this using these thumbnails, you'll see that the highest point is at 13 and 29. Uh, in the case of the double bounce walk, what you do is you take uh, 13 and instead of 13 being the highest point, you make that the lowest point. Equally, frame 29, instead of that one being the highest point, you make that the lowest point. So in effect, you have two low points, two bounces, hence the double bounce. So all we need to do is go back to our walk cycle which is the, the, the timing remains unchanged it's from 1 to 33 in the timeline and all we're going to do is take Monty's root control and if I hit spacebar we should get the um, graph editor appearing if I go to translate Y you'll see that I've got a nice sine wave there and the high point is there at frame 13 and also frame 29 over here so all I have to do is take that down like that and then go to frame 29 and take that one down and now I've got two bounces so if I press play I've got a double bounce walk now it's a bit choppy because the um, uh, you can see I don't have a sine wave for more by the way on why sine waves are important if you if you go back to the same blog post and just scroll down you'll see all kinds of resources on how to animate walks but there's a very useful one here called why walk cycles need sine waves which just explains why generally speaking in a walk you're looking for an equal distribution over the center line so if I go into my graph editor and I see choppy um, uh, lines like this I know that's not really very helpful so I'm gonna smooth that out make them more signy so first thing I'm just gonna do is just flatten those tangents up there then I'm just going to move these guys up a little bit and these guys down a little bit and move those in line. I'm not even looking at the viewport, I wish I probably should be, but that's going to give me uh, a bit of a double bounce there. And I might want to put this one, move these guys down a bit so I get a little bit more bounce. There we go, something like that. Now you'll notice that one of the things that's not working about this is that the squash and stretch on the top is still going up and down according to the original timing. So we need to change the squash and stretch as well. So 13 needs to go down, 29 needs to go down using my middle mouse button in the graph editor here. Once again, let's select the, all of these guys flatten those tangents off up there and we should now get the double bounce uh, actually let's let's make that move over the center line I'm just gonna I'm just moving the whole curve with my middle mouse button and that should give us in fact we could even stretch that out a little bit give it a little bit more bounce there so you can see there's some there's a little bit of tweaking to be done but I've actually only changed two animation curves to get this um, uh, 
to get this this kind of funky fun double bounce walk um very very simple to do um very very easy to do very straightforward and this is the easiest character walk you will ever do